S5, Vampire. The Vampire has been so widely used during hit-and-run raids that it has become known throughout the Navy as the Fat Boy. In comparison with the Navy's equivalent recon craft, the Vampire is lacking in certain of its specifications. It is noticeably slower and less maneuverable. However, its operational range makes it an effective weapon against military supply convoys and trade craft. It is well known as the so-called flying body blow, mentioned in several traditional narrative pilot songs. Developed secretly by League loyalists employed in a Navy arms establishment on Selene, the Vampire is due to be updated and replaced by the Bloodletter. However, current circumstances make the introduction of the advanced craft unlikely for some time. Uranus is a gas planet housing the Colonial Navy Academy. Now depleted of all resources, the planet is still of immense value to Cargo Transporter The Cargo Transporter is one of the most basic craft used by the Empire, as it is not fast, it is not maneuverable, and it is vulnerable to attack. Its design has changed little since the early transport runs between Earth and the inner planets. The cargo pod is simply carried in the craft's underbelly and is attached by two electromagnetic clamps. Originally developed as a small scale civilian transporter. When the Sol system warp hole was breached for the first time in 4175, it was a civilian transporter which made that initial journey into the unknown. Although it is possible that the original transporter failed in this mission, there is no doubt that a transporter eventually breached the hole successfully, thereby establishing the first colony beyond Sol itself. Despite the legendary status bestowed upon it by Empire historians, the transporter is now a rather mundane means of transferring civilians between planets and industrial installations. Starport. Following a series of scandals during the mid-phase of the uprising, in which Starport populations starved to death due to the maladministration of available resources, most Starports now have limited powers of self-government. Operating under the ultimate control of a Chief Counselor appointed by the Empire's Inner Command, they are allowed to administer the distribution of resources among the resident population and share in the profits of the commercial and industrial facilities based there. Some starport populations are currently campaigning for planet status, although this is unlikely to be granted. The League has a very heavy armed presence on Midas, as current 